All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 14. And in this lesson, we're going to be using fractions and decimal multiplication in order to express equivalent measurements. And really, the point of this lesson is for students to practice multiplying fractions and decimals and having an, an understanding of why do we ever need to learn this? And this lesson is going to address that. So Eureka Math is uh, got this little nice little technique for converting days to weeks. It's kind of an algorithmic approach. Oftentimes parents and teachers, I use pictures. I draw. I might draw out 42 days and then say each group of seven is a week and therefore we need to divide by seven. So I'm going to get to the same place, but oftentimes I use a picture in order to draw uh, to represent what's going on, uh, but this is going very algorithmic at this point in this lesson, and they're showing us you take 42 days, well, a day is really one day right here, so you got 42 copies of one day, and then what is a day? A day is a seventh of a week, and then you multiply, and then you convert that improper fraction into a nice little whole number, all right? And so we're going to do an example of that. So we're going to convert quarts to gallons. So 36 quarts is 36 copies of one quart. Now what's a quart? Well a quart is a quarter of a gallon. And so now we're going to have 36 times a quarter gallon. So now 36 times a fourth, we know that is 36 fourths. And then what is 36 fourths? Well 36 divided by 4 is 9, so it's 9 gallons. Very algorithmic approach. Another way to think of this is to draw out 36 quarts. And, heck, I could do that real quick. Boom, 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 boom. And then 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Believe it or not, that's 36 quarts. And then we know that every four of them, because it's a fourth of a gallon, so every four equals a gallon. Every four equals a gallon. Four equals a gallon. And then, oh, so what's a quick way of circling every four? Well, that's divide by four. So 36 divided by four is nine gallons. So let's just do a little bit more practice. In this case, we happen to be doing centimeters to meters. Now that means we have a choice of either representing it as a fraction or as a decimal. So we're going to start with, well, what is 760 centimeters? Well, that's 760 copies of one centimeter. So that means we have 760 copies of 0 0.01 because uh, meters because we know that there's a hundred, 100 centimeters in one meter. <clears throat> that means one centimeter is a hundredth of a, cent of a meter. <clears throat> so now we've got 760 times one hundredth, and we've learned at this point that each of our digits compared to where the decimal point is is going to move two spaces to the right which makes the decimal look like it's moving two spaces to the left. And so our answer is 7.6 meters. So we did have a choice. We could have done this with fractions. So let's take a look at what that would look like with fractions. So 700, I'm going to do this in blue to be different here. So that's 760 copies of one centimeter. So that means we have 760 copies of one hundredth of a meter. So that means we have 760 hundredths of a meter. And this equals 7 and 60 hundredths of a meter. Now, 7 and 60 hundredths of a meter, that's 7 and 6 tenths of a meter. Or we can say that's 7 six of a meter. All right, so we've got two different approaches, one as a decimal, one as a fraction. They both work. I like fractions because students need practice with fractions, uh, but parents and teachers, you get a choice now, don't you? 
just one more example so that we can practice. So we've got 250 milliliters, and we're supposed to convert it into liters. So that's, I said 250, I meant 205. 205 copies of one milliliter, and that's 205 copies of one thousandth of a liter. And so that's 200, oops, I want to erase that, and I want to make that. So now we can multiply. So multiplying, we get 205 thousandth of a liter. And one way to write that is using our place value chart. We know the way you write that as a decimal is 205 hundredths, so point two zero five liters. So that's solving it as a fraction using fractions right here. Well, what if we just went straight to a decimal? So that would look like 205 copies times 1 milliliter. So that's 205 times. Now this idea of 1 milliliter, so that's a thousandth of a liter. So we could write that as 0 0.001 liter because we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. And I'm going to make that look like a 1. 1. There. And now multiplying. We know that when you're multiplying by thousandths, that decimal is, is there. And these digits, each digit is going to move three columns to the right which makes the decimal look like it's moving three columns to the left. So our answer is 0 0.205 liters. Two different ways to get the exact same answer. And uh, just this is just more of the same, only this time they're kind of couching it in word problems. It's still the same process. Everything's the same. Uh, so let's take a look here. A jug of juice holds eight cups. We want to convert the 8 cups to pints. So basically, it's going to look like 8 cups equals how many pints? All right. So we're going to start with 8 cups is equal to 8 copies of 1 cup. And that means 8 copies of a half a pint because it takes 2 cups to equal a pint. So 1 cup is half a pint. Multiplying our fractions, we get 8 halves pint, and that equals 4 pints. All right, so there's our little process. I kind of move really fast, parents and teachers, because this is such an algorithm. There's not a whole lot of explanation. So parents and teachers, as a little bit of 21st century learning here, as you're watching this, or as the students are watching this, uh, brace yourself and make sure you pause and rewind and play and then pause and rewind and play. That, that's the nature of 21st century learning now. I'm not going slow. You're going to be in control of the speed by pausing and rewinding as necessary. And the last example, more of the same. We've got a distance of uh, 372,060 meters, and we're supposed to convert that to kilometers. So 372,060 meters is equal to how many kilometers? So that's 372,060 copies of one meter. I'm going to put my equal sign right here, which is equal to, um, let's see, 372,060 copies of, now what's a meter? A meter, how many meters are in a kilometer? Well, there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. That's the whole point of kilo. Kilo stands for a thousand. And so one meter right here is equal to a thousandth of a kilometer. And now we know when we're multiplying by a thousandth, each of these digits is going to move three places to the right, which makes the decimal look like it's moving three places to the left. So our answer becomes 372.060 kilometers. But that last zero is not required, so we end up with 372.06 kilometers. 
And that wraps up 5th grade module 2, lesson 14.